Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be going through the trigonometric ratios. So if, like me, it was a few years, uh, for me it actually was about 10 years, between when I studied trigonometry in school versus when I started doing electrical engineering in university. You probably might have forgotten all of this. I literally forgot everything. So this would be a quick refresher video for you. And then in the following videos, we'll jump more into actually working with them. We'll just do maybe one example, or maybe two in, in this video. So let's get started. Triangle ABC, in case you don't know, it might get confusing, but this is how you label a triangle. You, you call it by its three points, A, B, C, right? So those three points has a right angle at C as denoted by the small square. Because of this, the triangle ABC is called a right angle triangle. In this triangle, the angle at B, theta, is denoted by the theta symbol, right? Where side AC opposite, so this whole side here, AC opposite, is opposite theta. So this is the opposite side. Side BC, this side here, is adjacent to theta. Adjacent meaning next to, right? So BC is right next to the angle theta. And side AB, so this side here, is called the hypotenuse. I'm going to guess you would remember all of those from school at least. So we define the trigonometric ratios as sine of angle theta, cosine of angle theta, and tangent of angle theta. You might remember this from the, the famous Sohkah Toa. That's how you, that's how you remember sine, cosine, tangent, and what they actually are. So the, the uh, so OH stands for opposite over hypotenuse, right? And then K stands for adjacent over hypotenuse. And then TOA, the OA, stands for opposite over adjacent. Cool. So the sine of angle theta is equal to the opposite divided by the hypotenuse or in this case, AC over AB, AC over AB. So this, this ratio is denoted by sine theta. So you write sine and then theta like that. And then that, this, what this means here is the opposite over the hypotenuse. The exact sign for cosine, or the, ex, the, the exact, I can't speak, the exact same for cosine which would stand for adjacent over hypotenuse and then tangent theta or tan theta would be opposite over adjacent, right? Cool. So every angle possesses its respective set of values for the trigonometric ratios. And these are most easily found by using a calculator. For example, with the calculator in degree mode, very important, I sometimes put it into radians and make a mistake, press the sign key and enter 58 equals to display 0 0.84804. So let's do that ourselves. And so they want us to do sign 58 and you can see 0 0.84804 just as they said, right? So, which is the value of sine 58? That is the ratio of the opposite side over the hypotenuse of all right angle triangles with an angle of 58 degrees. Now if you're calculating radian mode, press the sine key and enter two is equal to display 0 0.90929, which is the value of sine two radians. So let's try that, let's put our calculator into radian mode. So degrees to radian, and then they wanted us to put sine two, which is equal to 0 0.909. And that we can see is the case here. Ordinarily, we shall omit the radian and just write sine two. Similar results are obtained using the cosine key to find the cosine of an angle and the tan key to find the tangent of an angle. Use a calculator in degree mode to find four decimal places, the values of sine 27, cosine 84 and tan 43. So do you want to give those a go? Cool. So let's do sine 27, which is 0 0.4539. And they wanted it to four decimal places, right? So 0 
point four five. Um, was it four decimal places? Yeah. So four five. What's that? Four. Four five. Yeah, it would be four, right? Four five four. And then cosine eighty four. So we'd put cosine eighty four. 0 0.1045 and then tan 43 tan oops 43 0 0.9325 i'm a bit unsure about that four decimal place one there but let's have a look yeah that's right 0 0.4540 and 9325 correct 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 Sorted. So this is just a quick introduction to um, the trigonometric ratios. Just the important thing to remember here is that sine, cosine, and tangent they do they do actually mean something because sometimes when you're just dealing with them like this, you forget that they actually are the opposite here over the hypotenuse here. So obviously, if this was, for example, eight and this was ten, then you know sine would the sine angle of theta would be you know eight over ten etc so it's, it's important that you know as we'll start working through it but just keep in mind it's always i try and sometimes maths gets a little bit abstract and i like to try and take it back to what we're actually dealing with remember we're dealing with triangles and we're dealing with the the adjacent the opposite the hypotenuse just keep that in mind and i'll see you in the next video peace